Hi, my name is Raul. I'm with Cypress Product Marketing Team, and uh, I want to take some time and show you one of the newest demos and uh, products we have. It's our Capsins-based liquid level sensing solution shield. We often get asked, how can we use Capsins technology uh, for us to actually detect uh, the presence of liquid? The liquid level market includes different types of sensors right now. You can see them in your house, different applications in the industry, industrial applications. Uh, where we detect two different ways. One is the contact solution in which we have floats, we have different devices that actually move based on the level of the liquid we're trying to measure. And we also have the contactless type of solution, which basically use things like ultrasonic sensors, capacitive sensors, even load cells. So we're gonna use one of our CY8C kit 022 Capsins liquid level sensing shield. These are Arduino compatible shields that come with um, everything you need to do a quick prototyping solution. The kit includes our quick start guide that walks you through the uh, example codes. It has a Micrium free license coupon you can use. And the kit basically has a bottle that we're going to use to pour and level the liquid. We're going to use the Arduino compatible shield that we're going to connect into one of our PSOC boards. And it also contains two different flexible PCBs that have different uh, electrode layouts. And it's going to help us measure um, the percentage of liquid and the estimation of volume. A very important thing to measure is you can vary the type of layout you use on your flexible PCB and uh, define whether you want more accuracy for, let's say, the full and the empty capacities of the, of the container. You can use a more distributed uh, layout so you can use the difference throughout the capacity of the bottle. The other thing we're going to use is our CY kit 042. This is our PSOC board. It's our 4200 PSOC board. Basically it's a ARM Cortex M0 that we uh, should be very familiar with it. There's a bunch of demos and videos we've done with it. Uh, and this Arduino compatible we're going to connect on top of it and have the solution ready uh, for a quick prototyping. All right so now let's go ahead and Let's do the demo. Um, I already have here the bottle. The bottle actually uh, glued, I glued the, the flexible PCB. The back of the PCB has the electrodes already laid out. There's different types of uh, distributions we can use. In this case, we have up to 12 uh, sensors that are basically are gonna measure as the level goes up and down. The flexible PCB is gonna go into our shield that is um, already plugged into our 042 board. So let me go ahead and connect that for you. Now that we've set up the hardware, let's go and do the programming part. First of all, we're going to go to uh, cypress.com and uh, we're going to look for the CY8C kit 022, the Capsons liquid level uh, sensing shield. All the way to the bottom, we have all the documentation, we have the application node, we have um, the kit information, schematics, and at the very bottom, we have the code examples. We're going to go ahead and download that. We can actually see the file, the PDF that has the instructions, and we have the zip file where we have all the programming files that we're going to need. What we have is we're going to have documentation and we have the zip file that has hex files, and we're going to use one of those to program. For that, we don't even have to go into Creator because all the program has been already done for us. So we're going to go into PSOC Programmer. PSOC Programmer is going to identify the PSOC that we have. We're going to connect the board, and then we're going to load. In this case, we're going to use a 12RX for the 042 board. We open that and then we just go ahead and program the file. We select the kit prog, we chose connected, powered, we have the file selected here and then we go ahead and program. So what this is doing is basically taking an already compiled project and just uh, program it into the PSOC. That's gonna leave us ready now the PSOC has been programmed, we have the hardware, now let's go ahead and execute. The easiest way to do this is using uh, whatever serial communication terminal you have. In this case, I'm using TerraTerm. We just open it, select the USB to UART communication port that's uh, shown, and we connect it. We have to go ahead and set it up at a baud rate of 115,200 bits per second with 8-bit data, no parity, one-stop bits. Once we have that, we go ahead and we're going to start getting the readings from the PSOC through the USB as a serial port. The reading is 100% and 153 millimeters of water. That's basically the setup that's laid out in our board, 100%, 153 millimeters. However, this needs to be calibrated. Right now, with an empty bottle, what we're going to do in our terminal 
is we're going to go ahead and type CAL to calibrate. This is going to send the empty calibration, and now we're going to see 0%, 0 millimeters. So now the hardware is set up. What we're going to do now is we're going to pour some water into the bottle and see on the screen how the level is picked up. We have some water here in another bottle. Go ahead and pour. And as the water pours, we have a 13.6%, 20 millimeters, which is roughly the, me the measurement we have. Let's see how much water we have right now. In this case, we have a little bit over 30%, and we're measuring 48 millimeters. So let's do the whole thing. Now, it's important to mention something. Right now, what the water is actually doing, it's changing the capacitance that's being detected on the electrodes. Right now, we have basically 60% and a little bit over 90 millimeters of water. This is a very uh, quick way to get started. It's a very fast prototyping solution. Uh, all we're doing is ba basically using capsules to measure the presence of liquid and then processing that to give us the liquid level sensing and the volume of the water. It's a little bit more complicated than, than that because there's a lot of things we need to consider. Things like uh, temperature changes, things like um, the, the liquid we're going to sense. All of that is going to give us different measurements on our capacitance read, uh, read which is going to affect what uh, we do with it. So this is a great way. All of that is well documented. Uh, we can also go into the PSOC Creator um, project and do some modifications on the setup of the Capsons uh, sensor. Uh, but basically, I think this clearly shows uh, the precision and how easy it is to do liquid level sensing using PSOC and uh, Capsons. If you need more information, go to cypress.com slash PSOC4. Have fun. Thank you.